Hey guys, Jordan here, and welcome back to another video. Valve just released a new update for CSGO. Within it, they added a new warm-up system, and I'm pretty sure they re-nerfed the Deagle. Yep, you heard me right, CSGO changed their warm-up system. Now, I'm pretty sure all of you guys know why Valve are releasing so many new updates for CSGO, adding so many new things, changing stuff. It is most likely because of Valorant. Everyone's trying that game out right now, if you get access <laughs> and i'm pretty sure valve are kind of scared because csgo it is the game they're finally focusing on and then this game just comes along and promises so much that valve are now kicking it into high gear and releasing so many updates for csgo which is great so now let's actually talk about what's in this new update they actually posted a couple tweets right after releasing this update where they talk about the new 1v1 warm-up arenas that they're currently testing with in vertigo and train here's some gameplay of that actually as you can see here right after you load into one of the two maps either Vertigo or Train in Wingman, you will be put into this 1v1 arena where you can actually 1v1 the enemy team to warm up, which I think is really cool. I don't know if everyone will love this because sometimes in warm-up you just want to mess around with the enemy team. So this 1v1 arena might actually mess up kind of like the social interactions you have before game, which all of us love doing. It's a lot of fun just messing around before the game starts. But other than that, I think this is a really cool addition. I am really glad they added it into these just these two maps on wingman to kind of test it out and see how the community likes it so they could gather some community feedback and see if they actually want to implement it into the whole game which i think is really good it's a really good way to go about this instead of just throwing it in to everything so yeah we'll just have to wait and see if it actually becomes the new warm-up system but other than this they talked about adding a new option so where when you're spectating a player on your team it will actually show their crosshair instead of yours i don't know if all of you guys have seen valorant gameplay yet but that is actually a feature in valorant but it's cool that csgo Go at it as well. I'm not gonna say they're completely copying them because you know CSGO has been around for longer, they've had custom crossers for longer, Valorant's a new game, and it's just a new feature that they kind of wanted to take <laughs> take inspiration from, I guess I'll say. I don't, don't want to claim they're completely copying them, you know. But in their tweet right after this, they said that they added a new weapon parameter inaccuracy jump apex set to 331.55 for the Deagle, which means when you are jumping and you're at the apex of your jump, you won't have complete accuracy like the Deagle has had for the past week so that means no more jumping one deeks at least with complete accuracy they also added a new music kit box and multiple changes for anubis chlorine jungle train and changes to vertigo as well now i'm sorry i'm not going to go into depth on all of those changes that they made to the maps you guys are going to have to wait for the new three clicks fill up video i'm sorry but here are the patch notes for everything changed within the maps if you want to pause and read everything here you can but honestly i'll probably wait for the new three clicks fill up video I always watch those whenever there's new map changes because he always goes into depth and shows everything changed. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video is already subscribed to him, but if you aren't, you should really go check him out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this update. One last cool thing they added was actually the ability to copy crosshairs from the scoreboard. So if you see someone's crosshair that you really like when you're spectating them, you can copy it. I think that's really awesome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you smack that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. See you guys.